afternoon scrappers, CC scrap. So today I don't know what we're gonna do in the shop exactly. It's really cold outside again. Not as cold as last week, but it's still in the single to teen digits. I'm waiting on an Amazon package. You'll see what that is. We'll touch on that in a little bit. That should be here within the hour, so they say. And I gotta watch out for it because there's a lot of fucking porch pirates around this neighborhood. Or people that get packages and think that they're theirs. I don't know why, they just do. Um, just is what it is. Uh, I'm going to hang up my little hammer. I found another bracket. And then I went to, I think it was Walmart. I overpaid for these, but I paid like five bucks a piece or whatever for more of these little holders here for my nut drivers. I got these at Harbor Freight. They were SAE and metric. I think they were like six bucks a piece or eight ninety nine with the the rewards or whatever. But uh, I got SAE and metric. If you don't know what SAE is, it's just a fancy word for inches, more or less. <laughs> you know what I mean, y'all. Anyway, I'm gonna get those put up, and then we're gonna touch a little bit more on this drill. There we are. They're all hung up. That's good to have because I need those. I use these pretty much. I'm trying to keep everything on the bench that I use within reach or that I can get to easy. So that's that. And then I hung up my little stubber hammer my wife got me for Christmas, which is cool. I still need to find an old, old claw hammer to match that head that's, you know, got that bend that nobody likes for this handle. And then we'll figure out some more hammers after that. And I never showed you this cool thing. Let me turn the light on the camera for this. Um, all my pipe wrenches, check that out. See them all in a line down there? And I got a bat in case someone comes up to the house and tries to do something. Right there, tries to rob me when I'm out creating in the shop. Nah, I'm just kidding. Hope that never happens, but I got room. Check it out, I got room for two more down there. Just saying. All right. So, let's touch more on this drill. <coughs> Excuse me. Woo, it's cold. Um, this drill is a home utility drill made by Black & Decker. Now, the history on this I learned from Scout Crafter, and I actually watched a, um, a show, I think it was Netflix, on the tools that built America. Anyway, here, hold on. I'm going to put you in the, in the rack here. So, got you. It's cold out. See that? That's nature's bong hit, y'all. <laughs> anyway, Black & Decker started out as a manufacturer for industries, you know, for... Basically, all they did is make tools for industry. So, in World War II, when all the men were off to war, Rosie the Riveter, ladies taken over for the men, were stealing these drills, bringing them home for their, you know, husbands, boyfriends, etc. when they got home, because they were such a great drill. So, the son of Black & Decker started out he was a CEO, and then he started, like, sweeping floors again because of the... De I don't want to say the Depression, because I was in the 20s. Something happened where... Oh, maybe it was the Depression. Maybe I'm skipping ahead. i got to look back. Now, I could be wrong. My information could be false. But basically, the gist is, he started out on the bottom floor again and decided that we, they should make manu or make all power tools for the home. So that's where home utility came from, was their subsidiary, which would be that drill over there. I got it out. But anyway, we're going to take this into a place called Colony Hardware. I'm going to clean the outside up. I'm going to, you're going to want to put it on a wire brush, but don't. I'm just going to clean it up with a little bit of degreaser. And I want to keep it as old looking as possible, but I'm going to do like a... I'm going to take it in there and I'm going to have them go through it. I don't want to be practice on like a you know, an old freaking Mustang when I could practice on a new Prius, which is one of these crappy ass drills here or whatever. You know, you see what I'm saying. I, I don't, I'm not good at restoring um, hand tools, let alone power tools and electrocute myself. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I want to do to it. So basically I'm going to have them go through all this. I'm going to do the stand myself. I'm just going to bring the drill and it just unbuckles here. It's got a Allen key for a chuck. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, or I don't know. I don't know, because the other ones I see actually have a Jacob's chuck, and it's like a three-jaw three, three jaw chuck where you can, you know, tighten it up with a big chuck key. Uh, I'm going to have them replace the entire cord. I'm going to do a small cord because 
these get pulled around a lot and stuff and, and it's just a good idea to have a smaller cord that way you know i got tons of extension cords don't worry about it i'm gonna do a nice uh spring strain relief it's gonna look really cool with this thing i'm gonna just keep it pretty nice but anyway uh i want to i wish this package would get here i'm kind of excited about it it should be here shortly so i'm gonna do a little more shot maintenance uh i don't know i kind of want to go outside and break the stuff down in my truck but it's just literally so cold out like this is the kind of days where you don't want to be in the workshop but you want to at the same time uh all right sit tight maybe hey you know what let's take apart this welder down here this old uh campbell how well, whatever it is campbell something it's cheap old welder it's kind of like this welder, actually, it's probably the exact same welder with just the, uh, um, you know, just different colors. That was a Harbor Freight Flux Core Welder 030 wire. Uh, and this is basically the same thing. Like, it's just it. You know what I mean? Maybe I could cannibalize the liner out of there. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Let's see. We are going to take apart that welder. Before we get started, let's go to the cooler and get a beer. Yeah, buddy, this is one thing I do like about upstate New York. Beer stays cold. This may be a three-beer job. There we go, buddies. Live our high life. Go to the cooler. I'm going to close the door down again. Look at how much snow we got. A lot of snow out there today, folks. Got my little area cleaned out best I can. Yeah, lots of snow. All right, let's close this piece up. So, I'm going to get started on this here, cold beer. On a day like today, if you don't drink your beer fast, it freezes. <laughs> Woo, why do we do it? We do it for y'all. That's what we do. Because I know, hmm, I'm sorry I got a little ice in it. All right. I know y'all like to watch the breakdown videos, so we're going to start by taking off the screws. Which is, this is just the middle of the, this is going to take the middle part out. Just a couple of screws. Uh, get rid of the wire feed speed uh, thing here. Everything is rusty as hell on this. Like I said, I found this on the side of the road. Along with a big stainless steel sink. What the heck? Someone text me? Might be the wife. Bet you it is. Let's see what we got here. Alright, let's take this off here. Oh, man. Oh. This is holding on on the bottom, right? Oh, we'll start clipping some wires out here. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. I'll This will be all number three wire. I don't know, maybe. It's kind of thick. It might be number two. See, the newer welders aren't, there's not really much to them for copper. Like that TIG 200 I broke down was mostly aluminum. Just keep going here. It's good to break these down because one day at work I'd love to be a Working on welders is fucking cool. A uh, little bit of wire. That'll go as tin once I, I pirate that wire off there. Drive roll, or the, here's the, here's the drive rolls. Uh, There. 
that'll tighten the wire down, fits in there, and psh, goes out to the big gun. Get the back side off it. Looks like we got the big, big ass transformer. Look at that thing in there. That's coming out. Let's put the wire to the dry rolls. Motor to drive roll. Okay. We're just going through and clipping out wires like we can. Um, take them off the ground. And the wire is grounded to the frame. Look at these big transformer wires, man. It's crazy. They're all freaking solid core copper. That's big. There's two of them in here. Uh, let's hold that on there. The drive roll right here. The part of the wire. That all holds the wire on. That's all going to the tin shred pile. This is what we want right here. That's the baby's daddy. Okay, so I got all the covers off it. I'm going to start cutting out these wires now. This is all aluminum. This is copper. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of, there'll be a lot of good components in this. I'll take that off too. Uh, I think that's aluminum. Let's try it. Let's see. Yep, bing bong. Not aluminum. That was weird. Almost looked like copper for a minute. Take this little piece off here. Mm. Got it. I'm moving quick, scrappers. I'm freezing. <laughs> Alright, but it's fun. I don't mind getting out of the shop in the cold. This will get broke down. I'll take the aluminum off of here, or you could throw this in your tin pile for breakage if that's, or you could, sorry, you could bring this in for tin. <laughs> you could bring this in for aluminum breakage because it's got steel and stuff on it, or you could clean it up. It's up to you. The world is yours. Oh. Beer's freezing. All right, let's cut one of these pieces off here so y'all can see the copper we're dealing with. Y'all see that? Look at that. That's nice number one copper right there. Actually, I don't know what they're going to give me for this, actually. I don't think it's number one because it's got varnish on it. Would they give me number two for that? Unless that's aluminum. It doesn't feel like aluminum. I don't think it is. That's copper. That's copper, y'all. Scrapper's gold right there is a nice grip. Number three and number one copper, maybe. Insulated copper wire. Uh, I'm going to take these apart. Both these transformers. I don't know how I'm going to get them apart. Looks like they're rusted solid. I'm going to have to get the grinder out, cut this open. Yeah, that is all. Unless that's aluminum. If that's aluminum, I'm not going to be happy. I mean, it's cutting. You know what? You know, I can't really tell. I'm gonna have to scratch this. My file, y'all. Whoop, sit tight, people. So, it turns out, to my dismay, that this 
this big transformer right here is, is aluminum. Dumb. I'm not breaking it apart. I'm going to just... This one, though, actually is copper. Usually that's how it works now in the newer things. Um, aluminum, copper. Usually the smaller one's copper. But I'm going to... You know, I'm going to bring it in just like this as an electric motor. I'm not messing with this thing. Um, I have to hit this thing with a hammer and knock it loose. It's not going to matter. I'll bring in this electric motor. It's heavy. I mean, and I, I think they're 30 cents a pound. That's worth it. It's worth, it's not worth, basically, it's not worth my time to tear this apart. Or to rip that apart. Like, it's not. Uh... So, let's see what we got out of this thing here. We got our, these are all the shells, all the wires stripped off it. That little piece I'm going to cut. Um, that is copper. So, there's that. That'll go into your tin pile. That was from something else. Uh, bunch of copper wire here. This is aluminum. Put that aside. I can put that with the clean aluminum because I cut it off. But this will be number three. And some number one copper, like that's definitely copper right there. That'll be number one, insulated copper wire. We got our aluminum to clean up or as aluminum breakage. We don't know, yet, but we're probably going to clean that up. And we got our big transformer that is aluminum here and copper here. So, yeah, that's it. That's how quick it goes to break down that welder. So now I know what's in this welder if it ever shits the bed. But I got a two year warranty on it. So that'll work. Um, and on that note, y'all, I'm going to get upstairs. It's cold. I thought it was cooler than or warmer than last week, but I think it's just as cold or even colder. So on that note, all right, y'all. Uh, that was that quick breakdown. I'm heading upstairs. Get out of this cold. Uh, stay safe. Wear your mask. Keep washing your hands, CC Scraps, peace. <laughs> Woo-wee. What's up, Scrapper, CC Scraps? Package has arrived. I'm in the house. It's freezing cold. I couldn't wait any longer. Um, but I had to get a picture of this lazy old pit bull. Hi, Nala. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, hello. Did I wake you up? All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. Put a little tail. So, it's a cutting mat is the package. But I have a dilemma now that... <clears throat> I open up the box. I think I should have got the, the... There's a 36 by 24, I think. I think that might be the one. I think those are the measurements. Uh, the background's black with the gold uh, grid and angles. So I've seen people on YouTube use these to help cut angles, and since I have a welder, and I'm going to start out small, and I'm not really good at using the tools I have to measure angles, I don't use them to their full potential because I don't know how, and I'm maybe a little afraid, a little bit of both. Well, it is a little bit of both, but this is going to help. And then this side here, boom. So we're going to give this to the wife for a surprise, she already knows it's here, a surprise, surprise birthday present. Next week is her birthday, so she's going to get this she already knows about, among some other things we're going to do. Then it's Valentine's Day, so after that I'm going to put another order in for the bigger one and go from there. So I'm kind of glad I didn't open this in the shop because I probably would have threw it on my bench and started messing around with it and making it not artsy, craftsy that my wife's trying to roll out. So anyway, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for liking or disliking the package. Uh, and we'll see you on the next one. CC Scrap Shop. Peace.